Today, we're doing a Zelda tier list, and that's enough information. <laughs> so we're starting with four swords for the Game Boy Advance. Mm. Where do you put that? Is it the same game that was on the DSi? I never had a DSi, so I actually don't know. Okay. I think it is. They did it for the anniversary of Zelda one year, I think. Um, I think this will also be you because I don't think I've ever actually played this game. I had a copy of it when I was a kid, but it was broke. Is that really a Zelda game that I beat that you haven't? I did beat it. You beat it? I never even played it. I played it with Jackson. Dang. We played it in science class. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's it's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like amazing or anything. I put it at like B. Okay. Okay. Okay, Link to the Past. Link to the Past is a fucking prime Zelda game. Like, really? easy A tier, potential S tier. We could move it if we wanted to, though. Yeah. That's pretty good. Alright. Um, I think a Link to the Past is... It'd be a crime to put it l below anything lower than A because it's just... It's set the standard. It's like the Zelda game. Everything since has mimicked its yeah. formula. Okay, what about a link between worlds? For me personally, it would be an S tier. I have a really intense attachment to this game. One I of agree. my favorite games. I consistently play it. I agree. Like over and over again, 100%. Like I've, maybe once a year or so. I've almost completed that one. I've, I've pretty much got like another temple and then the boss, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I enjoyed that one. I, I'd agree. It's a, it's a top tier game. Well, and it's a really fun way to get a lot of the same elements from A Link to the Past, but in a more, like, a newer game, you know? Yeah. It's all the same music, and it's basically the same map and all that stuff. I think um, they made that game because they didn't want to remake A Link to the Past. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the closest they were going to get. That's that what I heard, sense. anyways. Uh, what about Breath of the Wild? I know where it lands for me. I'm curious where it lands for you. I would say like maybe around A. You want A? Yeah. What do you think? I would say S. Really? I'm good with S. Would you, but below A Link Between Worlds? Yeah. Okay. I can agree yeah, with yeah. that. Uh, Breath of the Wild. So, I think Breath of the Wild is going to be one of those games that every... I think we are, we're already seeing it. Um, games are starting to try to mimic its formula. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, open world games like Skyrim kind of started the ball rolling, but Breath of the Wild took it to the next level, in my opinion. Yeah. And the map is just massive. Super fun to just walk around and kind of do what you want. And there's so much for you to do. Yeah. Okay, this one, Sword, Four Swords Adventure. I don't think either of us have played this. No. So we're gonna leave it up. Yeah, we'll just leave it on the very bottom. You wanna put it in D or sure. just leave it down? Yeah, put it in D. It's probably gonna be the only one in there anyway. Alright, alright. Foster. Uh huh. Link's Awakening. Uh, I will count the, the remake for this. Because that's the only version. I would probably put it around a B. B? B or an A. I really liked that game, um, but it's really short. Yeah. Um, I haven't beat it, but I would agree. I, I played the remastered version, and I would also... I had a similar enjoyment to it that I did uh, Four Swords on the DSi, so yeah. I agree. Majora's Mask. I have an opinion. Do you have an opinion? I would say like A. I. <sighs> yeah, I can settle for A. This is my favorite one. <laughs> um, is, uh, I, can I put it above a link to the past? I suppose. Do you think a link to the past is better? Yeah, I do. Okay. 
I really like it. I know I've never beat it before. Uh, yeah. I have... Sorry. To, in my opinion, it's the most unique out of all of the Zelda games. Um, For sure it's unique, but it's definitely got its problems also. I feel like the problem to satisfaction ratio is way bigger than A Link to the Past. Less problems, more satisfaction. I think the, I think there is more satisfaction than problems I mean, in my heart, but I'm willing to compromise. Even that, it's also still in A tier. Yeah. Okay. Well, first Zelda. I'm going to put my opinion out there and say C. Do not even. What? You think it's, it's gotta higher be at than least a, a B? Yeah. Why? Have you ever beaten that game? I've played through a lot of it. You gotta respect where everything came from. I respect where it came from. it's a good story, from. there's tons of upgrades and everything, lots of weird stuff to do. But from today's lens, I'm looking at it and it's like tedium. I don't know, it's a game that I go back to. <sighs> I'm not putting it above anything. No, you don't have to. You can stay at the very last of B tier. What are you doing? I'm just not gonna... What was that? that? <laughs> Get that out of there! Where do you Crackhead? It it's gotta be in A tier at least. No. What? What are you talking about? I would say B at the most. Uh, no. What? There... Why would it... Mm. I can put it at the high end of B. I think Majora's Mask is a major improvement on it. No. Yeah, I feel... Yeah, totally. No. It has a great story, great characters, good music, good places to be. It's got everything in it. It's got one of, like, maybe the best soundtrack of any Zelda game. Oh, I disagree with that. I mean, not the best. It's definitely got a good soundtrack. No, it's got to be way up there, though. But it deserves more than a B tier. This is this is a crime. It's definitely not an A tier, and it's not... Or, sorry, it's definitely not an S tier game. But, I don't know. I think it's overrated. This is a crime. Are you... I'm so serious! Are you not going to budge on no! me? No! You can put it at the at the back. This is like, but like my least favorite opinion that Zelda: Ocarina of Time is the best game ever. It's not the best one ever, though. No, but I don't think it deserves an A tier. Ages and seasons can go together, I think. Uh, I haven't played enough of these to have an opinion. I've played most of the way through both of them, but haven't finished either of them. I'm not the big. Put it. Sorry. I just not the biggest fan of Game Boy Color RPGs. And it's not like for any particular reason. It's just. Uh, con uh, data controls often uh, wear on me. Yeah. I would put them maybe in a B tier. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, where? Uh, at the end. That's... B above or below is the first Zelda? Uh, they're pretty tied for me. I mean, I mean, no, I like Zelda original better, but that's just me. And I know I said I put leave it at the bottom, but I have no idea about these games, so I'm just gonna trust your word on okay, it. Okay, okay. This is gonna spark another argument right here. Phantom Hourglass, I haven't actually played much of. Really? Um, I've played a bit of it. One of my biggest things, and it's the same reason why I don't like Ocarina of Time that much, is the controls. Yeah. Um, and the controls of Ocarina of Time aren't that bad. They're not even that different from Majora's Mask, which you claim is your favorite game. No, but the fights are way different in Majora's Mask. Mm, okay. Um, and that's Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass requires the use of a DS touchscreen um, to run around like that, and you swipe your little sword, and you. The controls are pretty garbage, but it's got a good story. And Lineback is one of my favorite Zelda characters ever. The controls are pretty garbage, but it's got a good story. Are is like verbatim what every Zelda fan says about all the shittiest Zelda games. <laughs> Oops. 
So where do you put the Asylum Flight? It. I would put it at least a B tier. I really like that game, but maybe that's just me. Above Zelda. One? Yeah. Okay. I have no more further comments on Phantom Hourglass. We haven't had a C tier yet. No. I think we have our first contender though. I don't think we do. Skyward Sword. Mm -mm. Are you not gonna put anything <laughs> below B? I don't know. Uh. You're not gonna. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you rate Skyward Sword? Because I have lots of opinions on Skyward Sword. I. Uh, really like Skyward Sword. Are you a it was one of the games that I grew up with. I really like, you know, the story. Um, some of the atmospheres could do with a little work. I didn't always want to be in the locations I had to be in. Yeah. Um, some of the regular enemies looked pretty funky. I did not really like the Bokoblins in those games, in that game. Yeah. Um, so I could deal with, like, a, a B tier. Mm. See, the... The problem with me is, like, I said something about controls. This is one of those games where the controls just aren't just, like, annoying. Mm. They straight up don't work. Okay, but you never tried it with the new controls from the updated, which are significantly better. You never even gave it a shot, so... I, don't I feel know. that that's unfair. They, they fixed their mistakes. I, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I have to make an exception. I shouldn't have made this rule. <clears throat> I should have made it so we had to rate the originals. Because I really don't want to put this higher than C tier. But... Uh, they fixed their mistakes. Yeah, I know. I still have... Okay. I still have some major problems with it. Um, dowsing. Right. Bomb bowling. Bomb bowling was fun as fuck. Stamina. Stamina sucks balls. They did it a lot better in Breath of the Wild. Everything that Skyward Sword did, Breath of the Wild did better. That's true. A million, billion, kajillion times better. What? There's no bomb bowling in Breath of the Wild, but whatever. I, and I would say that's an improvement. No. Any game with bomb bowling is a thumbs down for me. Moving on. This is why we don't play Zelda together. Spirit Tracks, I will not budge on a seat. No, that's fine. We can stay there. I like that game enough, but I almost never play it over. Like, I think I've only played it twice, and I've played most other Zelda games, like, at least three times. Part of having a, uh, a gimmick, like a mount, in this case the train, is being able to ride anywhere you want. Yeah, and the bullet trains are really garbage. <clears throat> being set on a rail is, like, the worst thing you could do for, uh... Yeah. Spirit Tracks is the Mario Party 10 of Zelda. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Right. Okay, we agree on that. We're not budging. Minish you Cap. get that up there where it belongs. No, is no, no. S tier? Yes. You say Super Minish shush. Cap is above, yes. above yes. Link to the Past? Yes. Hands down my favorite Zelda game. I'm not putting it above it the It is the super underrated. It deserves way more love than it gets. It's one of the cutest ones ever. Like the GBA Zelda game. This just goes right to the top. Right to the top. Straight away. There we go. Oops. It's almost not even a bad mistake to make. <laughs> uh, we can keep talking about Minish Cab. I just... No, we both know. That's the one thing we've agreed on this whole time. That um. and Spirit Tracks. So, here we go. The very first and the very bottom. Wind Waker is my very favorite Zelda game. I think um, there are definitely some issues with it. Um, there are with every Zelda game, but... No, I think we both experienced that as well. That's the Zelda game I've played the most out of any of them. It's kind of funny because um, Wind Waker represents this, this self-fulfilling prophecy that Zelda has um, of... Everybody hates the art style when it comes out, and then yeah. it becomes a cult classic favorite. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't call it a cult classic, but it's it's definitely like a lot of people's very favorites. Yeah. Um, it was a pretty thing, big thing in my house growing up, and like all of my friends, and yeah. I've always been a really big fan. I wasn't like old enough to be mad about the design of Zelda when it comes out, 
when this came out. I was always a big fan of how it looked. Yeah. Um, but when I was 10 and played it, I could never get past a, uh... The Forsaken Fortress. <laughs> but I yeah, you didn't the... have a big brother to help you through that stuff. I played the HD version, though, and I played it, like... I, I've actually played Wind Waker more than any other Zelda game. I, I start to finish. Which is any Zelda game more than once. Yeah, that's true. Um, He's a Zelda non-believer. Not a non-believer, I'm just... A cool dude. Okay. Uh, I'd say Twilight Princess is a B tier. I would give it an A tier. I can put it at the high end of B. Okay. It's just, um... Come on now. Uh, okay. Um, for me, I don't know. He's too emo. It's too moody. <laughs> You're right. Like, I really like it, and I'll play it sometimes, but it's honestly just like too dark and gloomy and depressing and all of that shit. Totally. Like it's, Zelda for me is always like fun and adventure and mountains and fighting enemies and beating the boss and blah 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 but this is like oh this man behaved like shit and now he's turned into gold and he can't live his life That's so except that he rough. lives with all these fucking cats like it's all this like more real stuff That's true I think um, part of what Zelda is good about Zelda is how colorful it is mm -hmm. Twilight Princess just throws that in the bin the trash bin like yeah and i was really afraid of it as a kid when i had to fight those those big face fucking, yeah i'd get freaked the fuck out Me too. so i never completed that game until like two years ago maybe because i was super scared of them like yeah. i just couldn't i get you um and the tutorial section sucks yeah it's like an hour long yeah uh, okay we agree on that okay or we have compromised on that anyways What do you say? I've never played that game enough to form an opinion. Uh, this is one of those games where it's, it's like... Uh, it's a controversial statement. It's the sticker star of Zelda. A lot of people like it, but it's too different right. to compare to the rest of it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it's the only side-scroller Zelda. Yep. Stop! Um, it's got RPG elements in it. I've played a bit of it. Uh, best thing about that game is the soundtrack. But yeah, that's true. I always get those songs stuck in my head. It's one of those games where you have to be really dedicated. You have to know what you're doing already. And you have to just kind of have a lot of patience. Um, yeah. For that it's reason, not something I have, so... I guess... Okay, wait a minute. So we have to consider some stuff here. Are we saying that Zelda 2 is the worst Zelda game? I Like I said, I haven't played it enough. That's kind of on you. I just I want to have a look at this. Does this look okay to you? Because Spirit Tracks and Lit Zelda 2, we almost have at the same level. Yeah. Um, I don't think... I think that Skyward Sword is better than Phantom Hourglass, but that's just me. I mean, I haven't played Phantom Hourglass all the way. I would say I would agree that Skyward Sword's controls are a bit better than the DS controls. Not what you would know. I've played both of them. I you just haven't played the new it. controls for Skyward Sword, though. They're way better. I'm going off of the Wii controls. The Wii controls are better than the DS's controls. Which is unfair if you're going to use the updated version of Link to the Past or of Link's Awakening. I'm agreeing with you. I don't know why you're yeah, fighting me on that. I feel like I can live with this. The only exception I would maybe make is I would put Minish Cap. Maybe right behind Wind Waker. But that's that's uh, just me. I don't know. I, it's my favorite Zelda game <clears throat> ever, so. I don't think I could put Minish Cap above Breath of the Wild. If you want to move Breath of the Wild, I can put Minish Cap higher. 
going to just move a link to the a link between worlds to the back. Okay. Does that seem all right to you? Yeah. Okay, so you heard it here. In the S tier, we have. I'm just gonna ca I'm just gonna name them all from best to worst. Starting at best, we have um, Wind Waker, and then we have Breath of the Wild, Minish Cap, A Link Between Worlds, and in the A tier, we have A Link to the Past, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and at the B tier, the most full tier we have, we have best being Twilight Princess, uh, Four Swords, A Link to Link's, Link's Dreams. Awakening. <laughs> a Link uh, to Link's Dreams? Uh, Legend of Zelda Skybird. Uh, <laughs> uh, Time Machine. Zelda 1. Uh, <laughs> Zelda Oracle of Ages, Zelda Oracle of Seasons, C tier is Spirit Tracks, and Zelda 2, and we have never played Four Swords Adventures, it's and that's enough of that nonsense coming from you. Very interesting that combined <laughs> we have only not played one Zelda game. That's true. That's because you, it is required with a GameCube and Game Boy Advance. And friends. I friends. <laughs> I'll be there for you. I guess that's it. <laughs>